Hello everyone, my name is Rampage and I'm just going to get straight into the video. So I've seen people talk about Skullduggery, which is Camellios' longsword and how it compares to the Abyssal Flicker. So the Camellios longsword has 40 less attack and 20 hits of purple sharpness instead of the 80 that is on the Abyssal Flicker. But it gains 40% affinity, a level 3 slot, and 2 level 2 slots over the Abyssal Flicker. It also has a level 2 Rampage slot, which is a downgrade from the level 3 Rampage slot on the Abyssal Flicker, but it doesn't make much of a difference. So I made the best build I could with each weapon, and we're going to see how they compare. So the best build I could make with the Abyssal Flicker gets up to 492 attack and 21 Dragon Element. And it hits for 1896 damage. So the best build I could make with Skullduggery gets up to 491 attack and there is no element or status to speak of. And it hits for 1854 damage. So while it has much better affinity and much better slots, it is slightly weaker than the Abyssal Flicker overall. If it had just a tiny bit more raw attack, then Skullduggery would be better. Or even if it had poison status on the longsword, like all the other weapons have, but it does not. However, the damage difference is pretty close together, so if you want to use one or the other simply because of how it looks, then you could definitely do that without losing out on much damage, but I don't think you'll be doing more damage with Skullduggery. For the first build, I'm using the Abyssal Flicker, and I recommend that you use one of the Anti Jewels or the Exploit Jewel, depending on which monster you are hunting. For the helm, I'm using the Arc Fiend Armor Kerito with two Expert Jewel 2s. For the chest, I'm using the Baryoth Mail X with two Expert Jewel 2s and a Grinder Jewel 1. For the arms, I'm using the Baryoth Van Braces X with an Expert Jewel 2 and a Grinder Jewel 1. For the waist, I'm using the Goss Harag Coil X with the Tenderizer Jewel, Grinder Jewel 1, and a Steadfast Jewel 1. For the legs, I'm using the Arc Fiend Armor Scaros with a Tenderizer Jewel 2 and two Critical Jewel 2s. For the Talisman, I'm using a Wirebug Whisperer Level 3, Heartbreaker Level 2, with a Level 3 slot and two Level 1 slots, and I put a Critical Jewel 2 and two Steadfast Jewel 1s in those slots. And these are all the skills in total. For this second build, I'm using Skullduggery with three Attack Jewel 2s. And for the Rampage slot, I recommend that you use one of the anti jewels or the exploit jewel, depending on which monster you are hunting. For the head, I'm using the Arc Fiend Armor Kerito with two attack jewel twos. For the chest, I'm using the Baryoth Mail X with two attack jewel twos and a grinder jewel one. For the arms, I'm using the Juratotus Van Braces X with two tenderizer jewel twos and a grinder jewel one. For the waist, I'm using the Sailor's Skirt with a Mighty Jewel 2. For the legs, I'm using the Arc Fiend Armor Skaros with 3 Critical Jewel 2s. For the Talisman, I'm using a Quick Sheath Level 2, Wirebug Whisperer Level 2 with a Level 2 slot and a Level 1 slot, and I put an Expert Jewel 2 and a Grinder Jewel 1 in those slots. If you have the Quick Sheath Level 2 Talisman with 2 Level 2 slots, you can just use the decoration slots to add in Wirebug Whisper level 2. You will have one less critical eye and one less speed sharpening, but the build will still work very well. And these are all of the skills in total. For the Dango food skills, I would recommend Dango Weakner, Dango Booster, and Dango Moxie. But if you want to decrease the health drain caused by Dereliction, you can switch out Dango Moxie for Super Recovery Dango. If you don't have that dango unlocked, you can unlock it by completing the 6 star quest Sticky Secret Sticking Sauce. And if you don't have this quest unlocked yet, that just means that you have to do more quests. One of my friends also found this image that shows which anti-species rampage tool works on each monster, so you can use this if you want a quick reference guide. I would recommend just screenshotting this. So if you found this video helpful or entertaining, consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and I have more videos like this coming soon. Also, if you made it this far into the video, I want to let you know that I really appreciate you and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.